Hey guys, welcome on my channel. My name is Marcus and today I'm going to show you how to do a heel side front side 360 slide over a box. When you have learned the first basic tricks on the obstacles, then it's time to try the first spin over a box or a slider. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a heel side front side 360 slide over a box which is very easy to learn and also an important base for many further rate tricks. In order to learn this trick you should be able to perform a nice and clean heel side front side 360 on the surface. If your surface 360 is not really clean or safe you should try to improve it first before you try your first 360 slide on an obstacle. You should also be able to perform some basic tricks over the obstacles like a board slide and most importantly heel side front side 180 slide. For learning this trick it's important to choose the right obstacle. I would recommend to use a flat box if possible. Because on a flat box you will have enough space to practice your 360 and the risk that you get too far to the in or to the outside of the obstacle is not as high as on a slider for example. The right approach is a very important point for the success of this trick. Because with the wrong approach, it's possible that you are not able to slide over the whole obstacle and of course then it's way harder to perform your 360 slide. In order to avoid that, make sure that you choose an approach with a constant pull, a constant angle and a controlled speed. Of course, the right approach depends a little bit because not every cable and every position of an obstacle are completely similar. So, please take your time and take a few tries to find the right balance and to get a good feeling for the right approach. Okay, now we are coming to the rotation. First of all, I would recommend to see the heel side front side 360 slide as a new complete and independent trick. Please don't try to perform just a normal heel side front side 180 slide and try to add another 180 to your front side 180. Try to see the trick as a new and independent trick because then you will learn it easier and faster. For starting the rotation on the obstacle, you should turn your head and your upper body in and you should release one hand from the handle. It's very important that you bend your knees and that the posture is more compact. Because then you will have more control and most important the center of gravity is lower and so it's not that painful if you fall on the obstacle in the most cases. To perform a complete 360 rotation you have to keep on turning your head and your upper body as you can see here. You can support that by pulling the handle active to your body like for a normal heel side front side 360 on the surface. Of course, the big difference between doing a rotation on an obstacle or on the surface is that you should never lean more on the heel side or on the toe side edge. Because then you will fall immediately on the obstacle. In order to avoid that, make sure that the center of gravity is exactly over the middle of the board during the whole 360 slide on the obstacle. So, it's easy to find the right balance and to perform a smooth rotation with a clean handle pass. Right after the handle pass, you should stay in a compact posture. The center of gravity should be still over the middle of the board because then it's very easy to finish the trick and to leave the obstacle without a problem. Try to perform your 360 slide not too hectic and too fast, it should be more slow and controlled. Because then you can learn the trick easier and faster. When you finish the rotation, make sure that the front shoulder is in front and in direction of the cable again. When you left the obstacle, try to absorb the landing by bending your knees. Of course, when you're feeling comfortable with this trick, you can try to perform a 540 or a 720 slide as well. But I would recommend to focus not just on spinning as much as possible on an obstacle. Try to perform some further combinations because then you can improve your skills on the rails very fast. But in the end, the most important thing is that you have fun on the water, so please try to see all this just as a suggestion. Okay guys, this was the tutorial for the heel side front side 360 slide over a box. A trick which is very easy to learn and a very good base for many further tricks on the obstacles. I hope you liked the video and it helped some of you for learning this trick. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave me a like or a comment and to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Also, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. So, thank you very much for watching and for being with me. Take care. See you in the next video.